If you're preparing for FE electrical and computer exam or any other FE exam for that reason, then you must know that the NCS FE reference handbook is the only allowed reference material during the exam. In fact, it will be on one of your screens as a PDF essentially, and you'll be able to utilize that as a resource for the exam. It contains a lot of useful formulas, equations, definitions, uh, conversions, and so on and so forth. In this video, I'm going to go over three ways that you can navigate the NCS FE reference handbook and I'll also point out my personal favorite method of using the handbook for your FE exam preparation and also during the exam. But before we dive into the content, I would really appreciate if you could like this video and click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. So I have the NCS FE Reference Handbook opened over here and the method number one, which is probably the most intuitive method and a method that we used for accessing or navigating PDFs all the time, it is simple scrolling. So I'm at Engineering Economics right now and you can see that if I exactly know what I need in Engineering Economics, for example, the formula to convert a non-annual compounding interest rate into an effective annual interest rate, then I can use this formula. Or if I know that I need to jump to the MACRS factors, or if I need to look at particular interest rate tables, then I can keep on navigating within engineering economics and hopefully I will basically find it. But when the exam topic or the quest then changes from engineering economics to properties of electrical material, then I'll have to sort of scroll all the way back up to electrical and computer engineering and um, try and find where that is. So you can see that the limitations of this particular approach of just scrolling, because on the day of exam, during the exam, you really won't have that much time to scroll upwards and downwards. So it's not necessarily a good strategy to just use the scrolling feature of the PDF on the exam. That brings me to the second option. The second option is Control F. Now you will be able to do a control F is something that we do all the time with our uh, PDFs. And it is something that we are quite used to with Word documents, Google documents and PDFs. But this is actually, uh, this comes with its own limitations because right now I've done a control F on resistors. So you can see that the resistors are going to appear in several locations within this handbook. You can see that there are 19 entries for resistors and if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, then it will throw you off. And on the day of exam, that is the last thing that you want to happen to you because you, you're sort of already under stress and anxiety. And if you start going back and forth between several entries by using the control F feature and are being bounced around, it will only hurt you. So what is strategy number three? The strategy number three, which I strongly recommend my students when they enroll in my FE Electrical and Computer Exam Preparation course is to use bookmarks. Now bookmarks are amazing. In fact, you can see that I have the bookmark opened over here. And they're helpful because if I want to know something, uh, a particular formula for electrostatics or electronics or um, about the transient analysis, RC, RL circuits, I can simply operate within this bookmark and scroll or make my way to it. Now, it's uh, you can argue that doing a control F with a very fine tuned keyword would probably be much more helpful, but as we saw, it can actually bounce you around different uh, pages in different sections. And uh, whereas when you're operating in the bookmark, you're actually within that particular knowledge section. Now, it doesn't mean that once you are in that bookmark, you are going to readily find what you're looking for because you have to have a certain level of familiarity with this handbook. And students who are enrolled in my FE Electrical and Computer Exam Preparation course, when they go through my questions, when they go through the quizzes, when they go through the lectures, I reinforce that importance of NCS FE Reference Handbook in the, in the course throughout the lectures, throughout the quizzes, throughout the mini exams, and throughout 
um, the computer simulator practice exam and um, at every instance, essentially. So they know that when they are working within electrical and computer engineering, it basically includes your electromagnetics, it includes your electrostatics. This is your circuit analysis, essentially. Now we are moving from circuit analysis to power and then your transient circuit, your linear systems. Um, then you have transformer connections, motors, and um, uh, electromagnetics. You have um, uh, difference equations, communications. And when, when you go through the handbook within these bookmarks, you will be able to create a map in your mind. Okay, and that's what we need. We need to have a layout of the handbook in our mind so that you can have an idea. For example, if I want to go to digital systems, I can actually jump to industrial systems, industrial and systems engineering, and make my way backwards, right? So I'll hit software first, then I'll hit uh, computer networks, and then I'll hit computer systems, and then a bit of computer networks again, and then just before that, I'll basically have my digital systems. Okay, there are multiple ways to approach it. So once you have that map or the terrain figured out, you'll be able to very easily navigate this handbook. And the other thing is that once you start getting into the electrical and computer engineering sections, you're basically going to stay in the electrical and computer engineering sections. Because on the exam, the exam basically follows the specification pretty closely in the sense that if you look at the electrical and computer CBD exam specification, the first topic is mathematics over here. Then you have probability, then ethics and engineering economics. So you can expect that the first few questions you're going to see on the exam would be math and then probability and then ethics and engineering economics. It's not that right after math you're going to see a question from software. So when you're operating in one bookmark, you are actually going to be spending a significant amount of time in that particular bookmark before moving on to the next topic. And if you want to see like how the exam is structured, I would recommend you to get NCS FE sample exam for whichever discipline you are taking, FE electrical, FE chemical, mechanical, civil, other disciplines, and you will see that they will basically follow the specification. So that's another advantage of the bookmark because there's synergies, right? When you're in, in engineering economics, the next two, three, four questions are going to be from engineering economics. So you can actually stay in this um, bookmark. When you move on to, let's say, um, electrical and computer engineering, then a ton of questions are going to be within this particular section. Okay. When you're in math, the first 11 to 17 questions, at least for FE electrical, are going to be math. So you'll just bounce around different pages within this bookmark and you don't have to do a control F each time. Okay. So that's, uh, that's, a, that's a great uh, strategy to use. And the more you become familiar with the handbook, the better you'll get at it. So if there's one key takeaway from this, I would recommend that the most important thing that you need to do is to develop familiarity with the NCS FE reference handbook. If you haven't downloaded the handbook, uh, you can download it for free by logging into your N my, NCS dot, uh, my NCS account. And then when you go to the references section, you'll be able to download the handbook. And the second thing is that you have to develop familiarity with the handbook. Once you have familiarity with the handbook, then you should try and use the bookmarks. Control F feature is still there. It's not that you can only use one of these three options. You can use them in combination because even with the bookmark, you're actually scrolling through the content. So if you want to use a Control F feature uh, for something that even despite you know going through this, uh, these bookmarks and finding trying to find something you are not able to, then that should be a last resort. But in my opinion, the most effective way of utilizing the handbook is by means of bookmarking, scrolling through the right sections, and at the end, using the control F, if all else fails. I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know in the comment section which one of these three methods you're going to be using for your FE exam preparation and why. Thank you.